Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a fantastic week. Today is a very exciting video because we are doing my very first of 2021. That's not right, right? We are doing my very first Halloween decor haul. It ranges from things I found online to things I found in store. So I will show you everything that I have gotten thus far this 2021 Halloween season. You guys, pretty sure my wallet. been a going question i've been to home goods tj maxx marshall's i believe it was pottery barn joann's both in store and online michael's only online bath and body works and if i'm getting something right now we'll probably go through it at some point in this video so i don't have a whole lot of time so let's dive in and see what all i got starting with the stuff I probably bought the most things from, which is Home Goods. Normally, Home Goods is my. Now I'm doing that again. Please remind myself not to do that. But Home Goods, that's normally where I uh, dive headfirst into a um, financially never gonna recover from this situation. Before I dive in, I will make sure to include a GIF in this corner that will tell you whether I'm planning on keeping this out all year round or if it's going to be a Halloween only item. If it's going to be for Christmas or something in the other category, I'll make sure to include an appropriate to give for that. But I think so far I've only found stuff for all year round or Halloween. So just look for the gift in the corner if you want to know what I plan on doing with that bad boy item. So I got a lot of pillows from Home Goods thus far. The first one I'm going to show you guys is this ghost one. I saw this online and I'm so happy I was able to find it in person. I bought two of these. I don't know where I'm going to put them. I don't know if they're going to go in my bed. They're going to go in the living room. They're definitely going to go somewhere for sure. And this was $19.99. So this has a pillow insert that you can unzip so you can wash this. So it's very nice, very convenient, and I cannot wait to style this in my home. Since we're on the theme of ghosts, the second pillow I was able to find, again, I saw online really wanted, was this one. This is so stinking soft my goodness gracious this one has a ghost pattern all on the front and back this one also has a removable insert so you can wash this in the washing machine and this little guy is $16.99 from the brand sweet street this was the next pillow i found this is from witchcrafters and is $12.99 this one does not have a removable insert so purely a decorative pillow so it has a lot of cute like embroidery details it has a haunted house with little bats that are three-dimensional little wings pop out and it has october 31st with a boo and some tombstones and the back is black adorable probably gonna say cute and adorable a lot in this video so just be, be prepared for that <laughs> next pillow i found was this happy halloween one i love how it's black and white i feel like it's kind of uncommon to find black and white items Normally they have a little bit of orange or something like that. Edgar, why are you trying to attack the plates? This pillow was $19.99 from the brand Homey Cozy. And it just features a kind of three-dimensional happy Halloween with a witch and a pumpkin and a witch hat up here. I love it. I got two of these pillows. I told you I went ham on the pillows. So next is this pillow. I was kind of debating on whether or not I liked it or not, mainly because I wasn't sure about this orange burlap. But you know what? I really like the scenery they had presented me with on this pillow. So uh, I decided to get it. This was $19.99 from Hollow's Eve. And it has some cute like beaded details around the bats and the star and the house and tombstones down here. You know I'm a sucker for haunted houses, tombstones, bats, and ghosts. And this almost has the complete package on this one pillow. The back is just black. This one also is not removable, so it's purely decorative. I believe this is the last pillow I got, and it is this trio of skulls. I saw they have like a variety of different colors and beaded ones with this print, but I ended up finding this one. This pillow is so squishy and soft and lovely. This pillow also has an insert, so that way you can wash it. And my gosh, I'm just gonna cuddle this thing all the time. 
it is like a knitted material and it's the patterns on both sides and this was $19.99 from Magashoni home Magashoni I think that's all the pillows I got so now I'm just going to move into just all the random other things I got from home goods I moved a little closer since these are more small items and I don't think I need that big of a frame in order to show you guys these. Oh, also really fast. I got this really cute Dracula shirt from Torrid. If you've been with me through my Halloween decor hunting videos, I've been showing you guys things I've gotten along the way. So if you have been watching, I've already shown you these, but I got some plates right at the beginning of the season. I got these really cool ones. So this one has like an eyeballs and it's kind of like an apothecary kind of style theme. Is that right? Apothecary? And this one has more books and skulls and stuff like that. So I just really like how they complement each other, but are a little bit different. I already took off the price tag since I've been using these. So I think they were $4.99, something around there. Then I also got the big plate version right here. These are microwave and dishwasher safe. Like I said, I got two of these ones and I think these are around like $6.99, something like that. I do kind of wish I bought more of these. I, I have never seen them again since I bought these at the very beginning of the Halloween season. And apparently there was bowls somewhere out there in the Halloween land, but I did not find those either. So maybe one day I'll get lucky. I don't know. So I actually found some Joffrey's coffee. I'm so excited that they have these. This one was $7.99 and it is the Not So Scary Pumpkin Brew, which is a bewitching blend of pumpkin pie and vanilla. Look at how cute the packaging is. I love it. They also have some other flavors of their coffee available at Marshall, TJ Maxx, and at Home Goods. So I'll be showing you guys another one here. If you're also a Disney goth like yours truly, uh, definitely be on the lookout for these. I've been finding them pretty common in my area, so hopefully that means you guys can pick them up as well if you have not found them yet. Next up is this Table Runner, and it may look familiar because I actually bought this same exact print in a pillow form, which is right over here. I'm so excited I found this in the table runner form because I absolutely love this print. It gives me all the vampire Dracula vibes. So excited to put this in my home. This was only $12.99 from the brand Domain. Next up, I have this little bamboo container and it features adorable witch boots all around it with candy. It is so adorable. You can always use more Tupperware in your life. And this was $5.99. This is a bit of a controversial topic, but I actually love candy corn. So I got this really cute candy corn container and this was only $4.99. Definitely want to reuse the container for something else once I've eaten all the candy corn, but I just couldn't help myself. I was craving candy corn and so I found my opportunity at Home Goods to buy some and I'm gonna eat some. Oh yeah. Next up from Home Goods, I got this cute ghost spoon rest. The bottom part is black with little orange polka dots. This is from the brand Full Moon Furnishings and it's dishwasher safe and this was only $3.99. Next up, I got this shower curtain liner and it is from Ray Dunn. Not the biggest fan of Ray Dunn, but sometimes their stuff is pretty dang cute and I could not resist this little one. And I could not resist this shower curtain liner that says hey boo all over it and it has little ghosts This is just way more interesting than it's a clear shower curtain liner So it'll just be a fun surprise every time I go in the shower or take a bath and I see this on the other side of the shower curtain This was only $7.99 and it is a antibacterial mildew resistant liner Next up I found this really adorable tablecloth this was only $14.99 and I just loved all the little emblems over it. Little haunted houses, little spooky black cats, ghosts, bats, pumpkins, you name it. It's probably going to be on this tablecloth. And this was only $14.99 from the brand The Farmhouse by Rachel Ashwell. Next up is a spooky ghost. It is a candle that I'll probably never light. This was only $7.99. I love how it's holding a little pumpkin adorable then i got this pack of two battery operated candles and they just have some pumpkins hanging from a tree with a little graveyard down here and then a witch flying on a broom with a moon i thought it was very very cute and i could always use more candles especially better operated ones <laughs> in my life and they were only 12.99 and they're from the brand spooked 
Next up is this Ray Dunn mug that says Happy Halloween on it. That's orange on the inside and black on the outside. This was $5.99. Uh, there was a lot of Ray Dunn stuff this year, which is surprising because normally it gets all snatched up by those scalpers and then sold online for outrageous prices. I am not the biggest fan of Ray Dunn, but sometimes her mugs are pretty cute. And I loved how this one had Halloween on the front and was black and orange. So I am definitely excited to use this this Halloween season. Next up is this throw blanket I got. And this was $16.99. It is so soft and fleecy, and I just love the vintage pattern on it. It has pumpkins and skulls, bats, and black hats, and it's on with a gray background. And the brand is Well Dressed Home. Next up, I got these napkins. My first time buying some cloth napkins. Am I adulting now? Maybe. This is what they look like when you unwrap them. So they just have ghosts all over and they are absolutely adorable. So I figured I would include them whenever I decide to do my little tablescape Halloween decorate with hot for Halloween with me video. Oh, and then the price on these was $6.99 and they're from the brand Lunaville. Got some spooky sprinkles. They're just like the perfect mixture of anything and everything Halloween from non pearls to ghost shape to bat shape, they have it all. And I thought these would just be fun to add to coffees or baked goods. And these were only $2.99. Next thing I bought was this really, really cute black and orange striped pumpkin canister. It is so cute. Not quite sure what I want to put in here. It's fairly large, just kind of an odd shape. So you could probably put sugar or flour or anything like that. This was $12.99 and it is non microwave safe and hand wash is recommended, but it is very cute. I saw some different colors of this, so if orange and black isn't your thing, I believe I saw a black and white one as well as a black and green one. Oh, it appears I have missed a pillow. So here is another pillow I found. This one has a spider and spider webs and it's all beaded. And then this one has a very nice silvery sparkly cloth. This is from Witchcrafters and this pillow was $12.99. This one is just decorative. There's no pillow insert, so be wary of this little guy. Don't get him dirty. Next up is this pumpkin. It is so cute. It is white and features black bats flying all the way across the front of it. This was from the brand Moonlight Manor, and it is, what is your price, girl? $12.99. You know, some of the stuff I bought so long ago, I feel like I'm giving myself some Halloween presents here. So I bought these little cappuccino. Oh, there you go. You've got your cream and your sugar now. It's a little cappuccino. Mugs and they are so cute. So they have orange on the handle as well as in the inside of the cup. And they just have little black cats, spider webs, witch hats, pumpkins, tombstones, skulls, anything Halloween related is on this little mug. But they were just so cute. So I had to have them. They're from the brand Signature. And these are $7.99. Next up, I bought these dish towels. I haven't really found that many that I like, but I am glad I snagged these ones. These were $6.99 and they feature pumpkins that are orange and black with a variety of different faces or they're just striped. And there is a pack of two. And these ones feel like the ones that are pretty absorbable. That's not a word. So I'm excited to have these. I love the minimal color scheme of them. And I like how there's kind of a little touch, a little touch of spooky. Next up, I got these spiderweb burlap placemats. I got a pack of two and these are $7.99 from the brand Storehouse. I told you guys I got a lot of stuff from Home Goods. We're getting close to the end of my items from specifically Home Goods. So next up is another Ray Dunn item. This one says trick or treat on the inside. That wasn't why I got it. I got it because I love the outside rim, how it was just a whole slew of jack-o'-lanterns that go all the way around. And I feel like I could always use more spooky dishware in my life, especially when it comes to bakeware. This is oven safe up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit or for you people who live in Europe, 205 degrees Celsius. This will be perfect for some Halloween baking. And this was $16.99. We are on to the very last home goods bag that I have. I found another little throw. I love this one. It is one of those little fleecy throws. Of course, they are super soft. 
This was from the brand Moonlight Road and it was $12.99. See if I can take this off to give you guys a better idea of the pattern on it. So as you can see, it has little spooky houses, bats, spiders, spider webs, and I love how it has just an orange, black, and white color scheme. I love it so much, so soft. Next up, I found some shower curtains. I've never bought Halloween themed shower curtains before, so I'm excited to actually decorate my bathrooms this year for Halloween. I got two, so this one was $14.99, and it features spooky trees, a haunted house that you can't see right now, so I'll kind of zoom up on this picture here for you guys. Pumpkins, jack-o'-lanterns, graveyards, bats, all of the good things you can find during Halloween time. This one's also $14.99, and it features a black, gray, and white color scheme, has spooky haunted houses all the way across the bottom, and black bats flying all the way up the shower curtain. This is from the brand Home Sweet Home. The other one was from the brand Bewitched. And the last thing I have to show you guys from Home Goods are these really cute spooky napkins. These were $3.99. I loved the pattern on them. Could not pass them up. I love how there's little pumpkins, ghost skulls, and batches hanging like they're hanging to dry out by what looks kind of like a cemetery gate. Oh, I guess there is one more thing from Home Goods, and I bought one of their reusable bags. So in Oregon, we have to use reusable bags unless you want to pay for paper ones. So I was so excited to see a Halloween themed one finally this year. This was only 99 cents. Finally got through everything from Home Goods. Let's move on to something a little different. This item is from Shop Disney. So I was able to snag myself one of their Halloween lounge fly bags. This was, uh, I think it was 75 around there. I love it. It is so cute. I wasn't so sure uh, how I'd feel about it because I really like the two from last year. This one is kind of similar to the trick or treat style bag. However, this is even cuter in person. I do think that they did a better job this year on the fabric. It doesn't look like it has the white lines running through it. If you got the one last year, then you might know what I'm talking about. So up top, we have an orange Minnie Mouse bow with some black and gray buffalo checkered print on the ears. Not my favorite thing, but I still think it's very cute. And of course, we have the little lounge fly Disney metal logo here. And here is the pattern. I love the little ghosts that they did this year on it. And the little bats, that's kind of what sold me on this, was little ghosts and bats. Look how happy this little ghost is. And look how sad this little ghost is. Oh, still my heart, will ya? Love it. It's definitely be my Halloween bag this year. Can't wait to use it. So unfortunately this is sold out right now on Shop Disney's website, but they always bring it back. Just keep checking their website periodically. They normally release items at midnight Pacific Standard Time. So just check back probably every midnight from here on out if you want to snag yourself this really cute lounge fly Halloween bag. Next up, let's go ahead and do Ross because I only found one thing from there. So I bought this fleece throw from Ross. So I love silhouettes like this. It's probably because I love Disneyland so much and that's something you can do there is get your silhouette done. So it just kind of reminded me of that. So I have a little witch with the witch hat in a beautiful frame and it's orange, white, and black theme. <gasps> wow. Next up is an item I bought from Pottery Barn and it is this gigantic candy bowl. So this is way bigger in person than I thought it would be, which explains the hefty price tag. I'll pop it in here because I can't remember off the top of my head exactly what the price is, but gosh darn gracious, this uh, thing is a hefty boy. So I'm actually not going to use it for candy. I'm going to actually put this next to my fireplace and put wood in it. I think it would be pretty cute for that purpose. There's a total of two bats that hold up this gigantic steel bowl here. And it already features a spider web. Cool, cool spider. Thank you for adding a bit of ambiance <laughs> and decor to this uh, this piece right here. So moving on from Pottery Barn, let's move into Marshalls and then TJ Maxx. So from Marshalls, I found these two spooky mugs. They're from the same uh, brand. Again, I've taken off the tags. I've already used them. So I think these were around $3.99 or $4.99. 
This one has witch hats, and this one has spider webs, and one lonely purple spider, which they conveniently covered up with a sticker, so I didn't know it was there until after I peeled it off. <laughs> here's what the spider web one looks like up close, and here's what the witch hat one looks like up close. I just really like how they're very minimal. The witch hat one does have like a blue speckle on the glaze. Next up, I got these disposable cups that are for coffee or tea. I thought this would be fun if I end up having a little mini Halloween party. Who knows with, uh, you know, you know what, that's running around the world right now. But if we do, then we can use these. I love how they have little ghosts. They say dead tired on the sleeve and then just have little orange caps. This was $4.99 from the brand Emily Dumas. Next up is this utensil holder. This thing is a hefty, hefty, hefty boy. You can hear it, it's very solid. This was $7.99 from the brand Utensils Croc. I don't know if that's the brand, but maybe. Uh, or that's this, what they're calling it. <laughs> There's black on the inside. Next up, I got some more cocktail napkins. Uh, these were only $3.99 and feature a variety of items such as pumpkins, ghosts, bats, cauldrons, moons, witch hats. And I just really like the color scheme of it being with a little bit of pink. Next up, I found this cheese board, whatever you want to call this thing. I'm just going to use it for decor because this does scratch pretty easily. And it just features a little spooky scene on it. And it's a blue color scheme, which is my favorite, but I still think it's cute. Has a little rope tie here. And this was, I think, $7.99. The price tag fell off. Whew. Okay, this is going to be a long video. So I bought three different bath towels, hand towels. Hand towels, not bad towels. What is this? A center for ants! So I got three different hand towels. I got pretty lucky this day because I only found one of this style last year and it was little witches flying on brooms. I was happy that I happened to go to Marshalls on this day where I think they put off all the various designs I had this year. So this one has an orange background with black pumpkins all around it. And this was $9.99 and this one has a black background with a white spider web and an orange rim around the bottom of the hand towel. Again, $9.99. The last one I ended up getting was this adorable ghosty one. It's black with white ghosts and it has an orange and black striped rim at the bottom. Again, $9.99 and all these were from the brand Home Caro. Almost forgot about this guy. I got this really Really, 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 really cute trick-or-treater doormat from Marshalls. This was only $9.99. That's everything I bought from Marshall. Let's move on to TJ Maxx. The first thing from TJ Maxx I'll show you guys are these adorable Halloween pajamas. From a distance, they don't look like Halloween. They just look like blue, but if you look closer, they have canned corn, pumpkins, ghosts, black cats, and bats. And this is this one material that is like the softest thing I've ever felt in my entire life. Highly recommend if you can find these at TJ Maxx. And these were from the brand Jaclyn Intimates and they were $9.99. So here is that other coffee I was telling you guys. This is just their Happy Harvest blend, which is I feel like a normal coffee flavor. They don't have any added little fun, little spices to it. Again, I love the packaging on this. Mickey, Minnie, and a scarf with fall leaves falling around them. Oh, adorable. Next up, I got this trio of ghosts. It is a little ceramic plate. It is hand wash recommended from the brand Home Essentials and it was $7.99. Then I ended up buying this planter. It says boo across the front here. Very minimal, but I do want some more patio slash outdoor items, so that's why I ended up buying it, even though it's a bit minimalistic, and it was only $7.99, and it has little, little feetsies on the bottom. Next, I got this amazingly Halloween town looking pumpkin with a witch hat and a pedestal, and it lights up, as you can see. I really like it because the cutouts and the hat actually project stars and bats onto the ceiling or onto the wall, depending on where you place it. It is absolutely mwah, 10 out of 10. Would recommend finding if you can. Uh, this was only $19.99 and it is a pretty hefty item. And the last thing I got were some more cocktail napkins. I decided to stock up this year since I didn't feel like I had enough to last me throughout the whole year last year. 
and this was $2.99 features a witch flying out of broom that says wicked witch bubbling brew established in 1879 i almost forgot about this so this is a beaded placemat and it was only well it's pretty expensive actually it's $9.99 from the brand nicole miller and it actually matches if i grab one here this coaster so that's why i ended up getting just one so that way i could decorate these together on my coffee table now that's all the items from tj maxx let's go into what i bought from grandin road one thing was delivered to me one thing seemed to have been back ordered so again i'll put that one in my next halloween haul video so i got this cornhole i don't know if that's what you guys call it in your area but that's what i've always known this game to be i got this mini cornhole set for i believe it was somewhere around 90 dollars and it's a trio of pumpkins with a little spider web where you would throw in the bean bags I, I couldn't pass it up. I can't wait to have a yard of my own to be able to play cornhole. Moving on from there, let's go ahead and go to Michael's since I only have one thing from them and it is this house that I saw online. It was only $24.99 and you have to build it yourself, which I have not done. Hence, it's like an empty package. I kind of got obliterated by my mailman, but all the items looked okay, so good news there but I can't wait to build this and then I don't really know what I want to put in it but I feel like the possibilities are endless you could put nail polish in here if you want to put in your bathroom you could put little crystals or if you have little bones and stuff that you collect be cute on this as well or I could just use the dollhouse which I think it's its intended purpose next up let's go to Joann's so the first thing I'll show you guys is of course this planter. I can't get enough of it. It is so cute. I love all the different facial expressions of each jack-o'-lantern. This was originally $49.99. However, I did get it on sale for, I think it was around like $37. Online, I ordered this cauldron stack right here. Thought this would be perfect to paint and put in my Harry Potter room. So that's my intended use for this. The price on this is where, where are you? Oh, this was originally $19.99 for this stack of cauldrons. Next up, I got this little storage container. I thought it was adorable and I feel like you could always use more aesthetic storage containers. This one has ghosts all over it. Obviously couldn't pass this boy up since you know how much I love ghosts. This was $14.99. Next up, I got this wind chime, which features three different ghosts. Some are happy, some are shocked, some are sad. Uh, I just thought this was the cutest thing ever. I cut off the price tag already, so I'll put in the price here of how much it originally was. So we have sad boy at the bottom, kind of okay guy in the middle, and then really happy boy at the top. Next up, I got this jack-o'-lantern pumpkin candle. That's black background with orange pumpkins on it. This one is their smaller one. They had a bigger pillar candle of the same style. And this was originally $12.99. So two more things. I got this. It looks to be like a Victorian house. I thought it was just really cool and I wanna do a DIY with it. And this was originally $4.99. Last up from Joann's is their little ghost cocktail napkins or regular sized napkins. I don't know, or cocktail napkins are the small ones educate me on your napkins these were $4.99 originally and it has is a pack of 20. so that's everything i got from joann's i believe our last place that i have to show you guys items from is bath and body works so first i'll talk about this one plug in here since i already plugged it in and i don't feel like taking out the wallflower and all that stuff but it is my bat wallflower plug-in very very cute and it matches their soap dispenser holders as well as their candle holders if you've seen those bat ones hanging around town at bath and body works next up from bath and body works i got the ghost wallflower plug-in this was the one i was most excited for as soon as i saw it online i knew i had to have it it reminds me of a balloon i think it is so cute and then the outside is what glows this was originally 22.50 which is a pretty hefty price for this guy and if you can't find it in your local bath and body works i have seen this online and it seems to still be in stock so if you want yourself a little cute little ghost uh that's where you can go ahead and find it and the last wallflower plugin i got this year was of course the spooky greenhouse i love all the little plastic details on it i think it's just really fun and 
really, really cute. It, it lights up very well and it has a projector up the top that projects, I believe it's bats. I could be wrong. I haven't plugged it in yet and I just have seen it online. I think the price list was $34.99. I'll pop it up here again if uh, I am incorrect. Next up, I got both the candle holder and the soap dispenser holder featuring these glow in the dark ghosts. So both of these were $12.95 and I love them. They are so cute. I have yet to really see them glow glow in the dark, but my bathroom's pretty dark because I don't leave the light on very often. So maybe, uh, maybe they will glow, but even if they don't, I love the little ghosties on them. And the next soap dispenser holder I got was this one. It's supposed to look similar to the wallflower plugin. However, the, the quality on this is very terrible. I'm not gonna lie. Um, it is a cute concept like the plugin. However, the plugin was well executed. This one is not. The paint job is not the greatest on this thing. Mine's not that bad. However, some people's pictures online were awful. So I'm glad at least mine looks somewhat okay. And then I actually blacked that with Sharpie because it had the year 2021. No idea why they did that. So I just blacked it out with a Sharpie because I hate when things have dates on them. Don't ask me why. And then this was $18.95. Then I also got this soap dispenser holder. It's the little bat that matches the wallflower plug-in. This was $18.95. And again, I don't know if I'm gonna have it hold the soap. I think this would be cute to hold makeup brushes. So I think that's what I'm gonna do with this guy. Again, you could actually probably make these into planters since there's already pre-made holes at the bottom. So that could be a fun idea if you would rather. Lastly, let's go through all the pocket back holders or hand sanitizer holders that I've gotten from Bath and Body Works and then we'll be done with this haul video. Man, this one was a long one, you guys. I got a lot of stuff. So first up is this little candy corn. It is so cute. I feel like its, bat, it's mouth almost looks like a bat with moons, you know, kinda. And this one was only $3.95. Next up is this one. It has spider webs and it features a little pumpkin that lights up. It turns off on its own and it has a lanyard on it that actually um, is reflective. So that way if you're out jogging or something, you can have something reflective on you. And this one was $12.95. Next up is this pumpkin spice latte one. And this one was $5.95. Here is the last item of this Halloween haul, and it is this bat. It lights up. Hard to tell probably what these lights, but the little wings flash orange at you. This one was 95 Again, has a reflective strap. Not as good as the bat pocket back holder from last year, which I couldn't get, but you know what? This is at least something for my sad heart to have that is a bat-shaped pocket holder, so I will take it. Just kidding, the pocket backs weren't the last thing. I actually did find a candle holder that I liked and, and were able to get, was and was able to get so far this year. And it is this one with the graveyard and it lights up. It is very cool and unique. I don't think it's 100% the best executed, but I always loved it enough to buy it. And this was a pretty hefty high price tag at $69.95. Then I also have the little black hat to go with it. I believe this was around $8. You can find both of these online at the moment. However, uh, it is actually adorable to hang right on the ledge of this little like gate post or whatever you want to call this little decoration on the top. It hangs perfectly and the black glitter is the exact same on the pedestal as it is on the cat. So this just works beautifully together in my opinion. So that's kind of where I've had the cat hanging instead of just directly on a candle. That is everything in my very first 2021 Halloween decor haul with you guys. Let me know what your favorite item was down below. I love to hear your opinions. Everyone has a little bit different taste and take on their Halloween decor. And so I love hearing you guys' different thoughts and opinions on everything. I'm very happy with what I got on so far. I think I went a little overboard, but you know, life happens. Please let me know what your favorite item was. I'd love to hear your opinion and your thoughts on what I've got on thus far. I do think I went a little overboard. Um, so we'll see what the rest of the Halloween season has in store for me, for items I buy. I'm sure I'll still find a lot of stuff at Home Goods, TJ Maxx and Marshalls. That's normally my favorite place to shop for Halloween stuff, but we'll see, who knows? Maybe Target will surprise me. Maybe I'll find some cool stuff at Michael's since I haven't really seen anything at my local Michael's yet in terms of what they put out. They've only put out some wreath stuff. That's all I have for you. So 
hope you guys are having an awesome emphasis on the awesome yet spooky week and i will see you in my next video coming at you real soon with more spooky content <laughs> bye